with our information technology of certificate level, we have four basic motivations. Now the Six Sigma. What is Six Sigma? Six Sigma is a data-driven method. Data-driven methodology that seeks to improve quality by identifying and removing defects. It uses tools like define, measure, analyze, improve, and control (DMIs) to streamline process and enhance quality. So Six Sigma is the best for the project, focusing on quality improvement and defect reduction, especially in manufacture if you see the manufacturing sometimes uh, here's service oriented organization also use. for example is yes they're using that for their textile testing laboratory certification they're using that so six sigma the focus on quality improvement is the data driven methodology they improve the quality identified removal defect the positive thing is that it's improved the quality data drive an approach and reduce ero but negative decks heavily reliable on that if data mismatch or bad data then that system cannot work or output will not get the proper output it can be complex and time consuming because is the complex situation cannot handle it so is the focusing on quality improvement if we see here d for define what is defined the launch the team establish the charter plan the project gather the voice of the customer plan for change then major aim for major document the process collect the baseline data narrow the project focus then analyze a a for analyze analyze the data identify root cause root cause analysis identify and remove the waste i for improve by improve generate solution evaluate the solution optimize the solution piloting it plan and implement then control for c control the process validate the project benefit so we can say that six sigma is a one type of project management methodology that use a data driven methodology that seeks to improve quality by identifying and moving defects. Now the hybrid method. So if we see the name, the hybrid method is the combination of more than one. Here, if we see the waterfall model, agile model, and based on both combination is the hybrid model. It can be defined methodology. So hybrid approach is the combination of two or more methodologies like waterfall, a structure approach, and agile flexibility. Because we know the waterfall model, there is no flexibility. But agile method, we have the flexibility for change it based on the customer feedback, based on the management requirement based on the stockholders innovation based on the stockholders requirements so based on the that there that, that flexibility can be used within the waterfall because waterfall model there is no flexibility but agile method has the flexibility so waterfall model use the agile flexibility we can make another model that hybrid model this is the advantage are that combination of the benefit both methodology adoptive and positive that means positive thing can be used is the best for the flexible and some phase structure software hardware project is very much important so waterfall agile that can be combination this way a scope establish approval design build test review then again based on the feedback based on the requirement again addition it value add it then build again then test it review it and app that means uh, use it that is the hybrid model is the combination aspect of two or more methods look here this is the summary of that model what we discuss here methodology waterfall is approaches sequential based for defined project positive thing is that is simple clear negative thing is that no change adoption agile method is the interactive approach is based for evaluating requirement is the flexible fast feedback negative thing that a scope creep requirement customer input a scrum interactive approach based for a small project or adaptive teams high collaboration and quickly delivery is the positive thing the negative thing is that needs experience team without experienced teams that type of methodology cannot be implemented lean is the continuous improvement approach based for efficiency focused project positive thing is that faster waste reduction negative thing requirement cultural and improvement can one is the visual approach we can visual the project uh, implementation everything best for a steady workflow positive thing is high visible and flexible it's required the monitoring can lack a structure another develop though we do not discuss here so we'll discuss later on develop development and operation is the 
same times one project or software you are going for implement it but it is the stage of development so in the development stage you also you are operational so development and operation is the same time that collaborative approach is called the devop approach is the software development approach so is the best for the rapid employment project positive thing is that faster release team collaboration and require the high technical skill requirement. Prince 2 is the process based approach. Best for the large complex project is the structure focus on the risks. But is negative that is the bureaucratic time conjugate. Another CPM will uh, learn in later on. CPM is the scheduling approach is the time critical process best for the help the optimizing timeline and predictive issue required six sigma is the data driven approach based for the quality driven project euro reduction and process efficiency high is the positive things and overkill the small project is the negative thing xp is also we will study later on is also the agile approach the high risk and complex development based for the best high code quality quality release pro as uh, the positive things the negative thing is that needs a skill development so is the overall summary if we see this summary uh, here you will get a few mcq from here uh, for example uh, based on the methodology approach best for uh, positive thing and not negative etc pro and cons so we have seen lot of methodologies what methodologies would be the right for the organization or for the uh, purpose uh, who what type of methodology can be served so here choose the right methodology so selecting the best methodology depends on is depends project scope and requirement it can be uh, fixed or evaluating is depend on timeline and budget timeline can be uh, the fixed or flexible budget same way a stakeholder involvement is the dependency is the frequency of feedback team size and experience that team of software development team network development team or hardware installation team etc larger less experienced team might benefit for the structure while a smaller experienced team may within the flexible project so using the right project management methodology we can significantly improve the success of a process by ensuring tracks are well organized resource and optimize utilize and goals are achieved effectively so based on the requirement of the organization we have to choose the right methodology but that methodology only depend on a project a scope requirement timeline budget a stakeholder involvement team size experience etc now the governance is structured in project management project within the project management governance is structure so there are few key elements of governance structure for a project management that are the project steering committee because steering committee required for the project management governance Require the project management office Require the project sponsor Require the project board project manager a stakeholder management structure risks and issue management structure quality assurance and control structure change control board that means if the project can be shipped or changed then require the change control board and project Project governance framework also so that type of element requirement for the good corporate uh, or budget structure or project management or put project governance so project governance structure provide a framework to ensure project are executed effectively efficiently within the scope within the budget and within the time while with the organizational that means align with the organizational goal and maintaining the accountability this is structured establish the roles responsibility and decision making process needs for successful project management so any required for the governance of a project now the governance structure of the project management key element we have seen the project steering committee so what role play by a project steering committee it ensures the project receive executive level attention resource and alignment with the organizational strategy then project management office required that office enhance the project consistency provide a repository best practice and improve the organizational project management maturity that office can be a supportive office controlling office directive office if you see each and every bank they have the treasury function so treasury department within the treasury there are three 
office one is front office one is mid office one is back office so each and every office they interrelated so they work together same way project management office they can be required supportive office controlling office directive the supportive office is provide the resource training and guidance to the project team controlling office establish the project management standard enhance and monitor the comp compliance and directive office directly manage the project assign the project management defining the project execution method etc and if you see the project sponsor project sponsor is the guidance and resource ensuring the project strategic relevance and resolving high level challenge the governance particularly in the complex project or big project and a project manager he or she should ensure project are managed effectively and efficiently they stay on the track and meet the set of objective within the scope within the time and within the budget constrained budget now the stakeholder management structure so stakeholder management structure build the support to the project reduce resistance and ensure stakeholder buy at the smooth project execution the risks and issue management structure risks and issue management structure is the minimize the project risks enhance the decision making and prepare the project team to respond effectively and unseen challenges and the quality assurance control structure improve the project outcome enhance customer satisfaction and ensure the deliverable organizational expectation change board provide the structure change management maintenance project alignment and prevent scope creep project governance framework is provide a comprehensive roadmap for how governance will be maintained we know in our bangladesh we have the corporate governance code for the listed companies and also the corporate governance that means for the banks introduced in the bangladesh bank and also idra different types of corporate governance structure or framework we have so project governance framework is it will maintain enhance accountability transparency and consistency in project execution now component of project governance framework we have seen the role and responsibility should be clearly defined of each role within the project team and governance structure and decision making process it should be defined process for making and for the decision of the project monitoring and reporting uh, require the metrics kpi reporting requirement and the, for the project health and document management policies for the document starting project information everything within the project governance so if that type of uh, structure we can see this way project governance framework corporate governance framework also uh, within that board director it governance etc is taken from the cisa and from the program etc so this way can be project governance framework we can make it so is have the benefit effect corporate governance benefit is that it ensure alignment with organizational objective and strategic goal it improve the risk management and decision making process it enhance the stakeholders engagement and satisfaction it provides the transparency and accountability facilitate successful project delivery through defined role process and control mechanism and its challenge is that we have to manage the corporate governance of the project but that a structure have few challenge what is the challenge is the ambiguity in the role and responsibility can lead the conflict or inefficiencies resistance of change then implementation governance framework balancing flexibility with control to ensure project success without shift in innovation so we can say that by establishing a clear uh, setting defined responsibility maintain the ongoing oversight organization can improve project success rate and align project outcomes within their strategic object so let's go for the project management now the project oversight and accountability we can see that importance of project oversight and accountability separate soft topics within the it project importance of project oversight and accountability is based on your syllabus so project oversight and accountability are critical for ensuring that project align with the strategic goal meet quality standards and the complete with the time within the budget so project oversight accountability ensure we know the project are complete successfully on time within the budget and within the high quality while minimizing the risks and aligning with the organizational goal 
So basically, main focus is ensuring alignment with the objectives, budget and schedule control, stakeholder confidence, quality assurance of the project, enhanced decision making, learning and improvement. So project oversight accountability are essential part for managing the complex project and enhance their alignment with the organization. So not only the complex project, all project, a small, big, sub project, everything required the accountability, oversight. Without oversight or accountability, any project cannot be fulfilled or complete by implementing a strong oversight strong and fostering the culture of accountability organization can reduce risks we know it and optimize the resource users and cost consistently believe uh, deliver high quality project that meet a stakeholders expectation that add value for the organization so that oversight importance is that alignment with goal what is that that means each and every organization they have a specific mission vision and goal based on the mission vision they set their objective based on that they in they implement want to implement their system it system other systems so so that system, what we are doing here, so what side that the alignment with the goal is correct or not, it can be delivered expected value or not, etc. So ensure the project made a strategic objective and deliver expected value and risk management for the identify and mitigate risk early through the regular monitoring is the importance of the project oversight and accountability is also part of the resource optimization because they ensure efficient use of time budget and resource also the project oversight accountability required the quality assurance maintain high standard through continuous evaluation of the feed and feedback and transparency required for the oversight and accountability of a project because promote the op uh, open communication and trust among stakeholders accountability required because clearly role clarify the role responsibility and ownership of the project outcomes. We know the success factor of this strong leadership required and governs. Clear reporting and mechanism, regular review and audit required for the success of a project. So success factors are a strong leadership and governs, clear re report and mechanism, regular review and audit. We know the effective project oversight and accountability lead to timely delivery, cost control and successful achievement of a project goal. And then we will get the close out our information system or system output here so we have completed uh, five subtopics today and our next class would be from the six acquisition and development process of project and from next class and uh, last 10 minutes we will take few mcq what we learn uh, within the class so and uh, we will discuss it